All right, I am at this pond, actually at a church camp, because I'm on a little bit of a retreat. Snuck away this morning, everybody else is asleep, at least they were before my 20, 25 minute walk back to this pond. Thunderstorms in the area this morning, hopefully they've all moved out. Hopefully there's some fish. I never fished this pond before. I hear there's crappie and bass in it. I, I just hope I catch something. Okay, again, I have never fished this pond before. Water is clear, it is blue. There's an aerator bubbling over there, it looks like. Do not know what to expect. I, again, have been told that there are maybe bass and crappie in this pond. There's actually a couple ponds back here. Never been back here, so I think I'm at the right one. I think I'm at the one that they say is better. Good little search lure, especially on new ponds, is anything like a beetle spin. This is a beetle spin kind of set up with a little Bobby Garland jig on it. There's, oh, there's fish right there. Yeah. Bass. Came out and smacked it. Again, these lures are great because they catch bass. They catch something like this. They'll catch just about anything in a pond. So it's a great thing to throw if you don't know what you're after and you just want to see if there's fish so that little bass just came out and flopped it i heard that that's about the average size of bass in this pond but that there are some nicer ones good little bit of vegetation growing up there's some standing wood over here that's you're not as told over in this direction is maybe the better place to be I'll hopefully, oh, oh, that was, a, not sure what that was. That's fish. Another little bass. Little, little bass. It actually got up quite a bit earlier. But thunder, thunder was rumbling to the west, moving east toward where I'm at. So I went back to sleep for about an hour. Oh, that's another fish. Holy cow, these little bass are going crazy this morning. In the same spot. Three fish? Ah. Oh, there's number four. Same size it looks like. Bunch of little guys. Again, I'm at a, a church camp called Lakeview Camp. So not, not public waters, but oh, another fish, tiny bass. I suppose if you had a church camp like this, you'd want a pond just where you could catch a ton of fish. And so far, that kind of seems to be the deal with small bass. Catch a bunch of them. Especially if you had kids that had never fished before or didn't know how to fish or So definitely be the kind of bite you'd want them on. Oh, fish hit it right away as soon as it hit the water. This 
As soon as it hit the water, that little guy took it. All right. Oh my gosh, another one. Again, as soon as it hit the water out there. Probably the nicest one of the morning, I guess, maybe, fattest. Fat little guy. Oh man. My lure just broke. Okay, technical difficulties. All right, lure is fixed. I'm back in business. Another little bass. Okay. Is there anything else in this pond? That is the question. Oops, get back in there, little guy. Get back in there. There you go, buddy. All right. Grab my <clears throat> grab my morning coffee and move on down the way. Fish. Little bass. Little bass. So yeah, I am on a retreat. Oh, another little bass. Every cast, a little bass. Holy cow. What a fun place to take a kid. On a bit of a retreat for Pleasantville Youth Initiative. I'll put a link in the description below. Nonprofit that I work with. I'm on the board. I also volunteer at the events. We're a ministry. We just want kids to know how much they're loved just because they exist. And so we're getting together. Really is an appreciation kind of thing for each other, but also really to talk through the future of our community um, because we are a generational ministry and it starts with kids, right? So looking at, that was the first cast I've had in a while without a fish. Hmm. Starts with kids, so that's where we want to start. We focus really on high school and middle-aged kids, but do events really for all, oh, something just hit it, all ages of kids at times. We just want to bless them, again, that they have value, that they have worth, just because they are. Oh, man, literally as soon as it hits the water. Because that's who God says we all are. God says that about all of us, that we all are created with a purpose, with value, with worth, with special skills and talents, and so many of our young people haven't experienced that. That's not been their experience in life. It's been abuse and neglect and abandonment and even just on the other end of the scale, pressure to perform, pressure to succeed, that you're not good enough if you don't do this or this, that your value, your worth is tied in performance. And that's, that's not who God says we are. That's another fish. God says we have value in worth just because he made us so again that's what our ministry does that's fish always oh, a jumper holy cow They're fun. Almost wish I brought my ultra light instead of this medium light. That would have been a lot more fun.
You guessed it. Another little bass. Guess what I caught? Another little bass. This pond needs bluegills. This is what this pond needs. It needs a truck of bluegills dumped into it. Because these bass are actually, I think, stunted. Prove me wrong, pond. Prove me wrong, but... I've fished stunted bass ponds before, and this is what it feels like. Bass, almost every cast, nothing bigger than 10 or 12 inches. And no other fish. That's another fish. Ooh. he came off so I don't know what he was I would guess he was a bass It is humid this morning. Oosh. Oosh. Bass. Little fish. And the least shocking report of the day. Little bass. Okay. I'm going to see how to get down to this other pond because it is a cliff from right here. All right. I had to retie two casts in a row. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, as many bass are as in these trees or in these, this pond, there are no bass actually in the trees. All right. Okay. I've officially seen enough now. Nope, one more cast. Okay. Now, back to the adventure of getting down this cliff. Literally, it is a cliff. Let me see if I can find an example to show you. Although, I think they've cut a path down in here. This is... I don't want to get too close. That's literally how far down this pond is. That's a big, beautiful pond, though. But it's going to be gamey to get around and get down to. Looks like, though, they have maybe carved a path down here.
Oh yeah, definitely deeper. Still super clear. That's fish. That's fish. Woo! Little bass. Peeing little bass. Alright. Whoa. Okay, a six count to, oh, that's fish. Oh, we jumped. I was probably blocking that. So that was a six count to the bottom, but maybe it actually wasn't. Oh, he got off. He was a little nicer than the, I think any of the ones I caught on the other pond. So, okay, let's count this down. Oh, I had a fish already. Oh. Wow, I'm not having to, I'm just casting it out, letting it drop down in there, cracking it. I thought first of maybe going to be a crappie because of, that's what crappies do a lot of times. Just let it drop and watch your line. Oh, old bass. There's the dock I was on. Oh, okay. fish right away. Man, they are healthy little bass. I'll give them that. They are thick, chunky little guys, but keyword is definitely little, small, not big. Oh. Come on, fish. One more fish. I'll move on. Acrobat. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to finish on this little bass right here. Just a little guy. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Not the biggest, but not the smallest. Just a little guy. A lot of these today. Um, here's the thing. If you're still sticking around, here's what I want you to know. Here's the last thing for you. You have value. You have worth because you exist. God says so. Um, no matter what your circumstances, no matter how hard life has been, no matter how easy life has been, whatever that looks like, your value is not determined by this earth. It's not determined by people on this earth. It's determined by the God who created you and loves you. So that's what I got for you. God bless you. See you next time.